welcome to a Mugville Vine and my weekly grocery haul and menu plan. I, as always, I will go over what we will be eating for the week, and then I will video my haul. This week I am only going to Walmart. Um, we need a lot of things like creamer and milk and stuff, um, as we just came uh, back from being out of town for a week, and we don't have those things. So this was our original menu, but we have changed things around. Originally, we were going to have uh, clubhouse grill sandwiches, um, chicken feta, chicken with feta sauce and vegetables, rice and salad. On Wednesday, uh, Frontera tacos, we call them. Thursday, we were going to have bacon, zucchini, eggs thing. Friday, a taco salad. Saturday, we go out. And Sunday, we're going to grill. Instead, this is what our week has turned into. Tonight, we're having barbecue chicken wraps and chips, as it's Monday. We always do sandwiches. Tomorrow night, we're having chicken with feta, cheese sauce, rice, salad, and veggies. Tomorrow, Wednesday, we're having the Frontera tacos. Thursday, we are having garlic pasta. Friday, we are having Dorito taco salad, and Sunday, we will grill. This is my grocery list. It's not super long, as I have a majority, I have a majority of the meat already, and a lot of the stuff is in the pantry, so this is most of our list. We definitely need dog food, though. The dogs would be hungry otherwise, wouldn't they? <laughs> Mackenzie. There's no dog food. How about cat food? Probably, yeah. Okay. So that is our list. I will be back with our haul. Hello. I am back with my Walmart haul. I um, purchased enough food for a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday. Uh, three meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then Saturday, breakfast, lunch, Saturday nights. As always, we go out. I didn't want to spend more than 150 and I came in... Uh, well, under 150, about 148, <clears throat> and I will uh, show you what we purchased. We got two things of kids yogurt, a Chips Ahoy vanilla, and an M&M strawberry. We bought salted caramel chocolate creamer and chocolate Dunkin' Donuts creamer. As we were just on vacation last week, we needed to stock up on a bunch of stuff and creamer milk and some other drinks were part of that. We picked up some sour cream, my favorite squirty sour cream, some heavy whipping cream, some I can't believe it's not butter, two containers of feta cheese for our chicken and feta cheese, a parmesan cheese, some blueberry yogurt, this Dundee brand is really tasty, some ranch dressing, some Catalina dressing, that's for the taco, Dorito taco salad, Sharp shredded, sharp cheddar cheese that's been shredded, mandarin oranges, some pineapple, peach slices, some black beans, two cans of evaporated milk, um, a package of the holy guacamole to hold us over until we get to Costco this weekend, one onion, one tomato, one bag of shredded lettuce, um, a Head of two heads of lettuce, one there and one there, and then a bag of set what we call salad. A pineapple crush, a funny pineapple crush story. They had the pineapple crush made into a circle, um, an emoji, and then they use like I don't know diet Pepsi or something with that's black. The packaging is black to make the sunglass emoji, and um, it was big and huge. So we saw the pineapple crush. We've never tried it, but Piper and I both love pineapple. So we went in the back to find the pineapple crush in the pop aisle. They didn't have any. So we went back to the front of the store and asked one of the associates what we should do. She said she'd send somebody over. After 15 minutes, no one came. So I took one of the pineapple crush out of the middle because all of the others were taped. And now the emoji has a hole in his head. We also picked up a Cran Blackberry Juice, Black Cherry Juice, some milk, no it's not Trader Joe's milk, but it will do, a um, sweet tea, some garlic bread, 
four packages of Kool-Aid, a big box of spaghetti, some sugar. I thought, I wasn't positive if we were running low on sugar or not, but I don't think we are. No, we just have it on hand. These garbanzo and lentils. My husband really likes these. Two packages of cheddar broccoli rice. I haven't made that in forever. A container of pinto beans and rice to go with our Frontera tacos. A dozen eggs. These good thins uh, rice um, crackers. They're gluten free. And they're low in calories, low in sodium, no fat, no sugar. These are the salt and pepper flavor. Logan's maple and brown sugar. He usually doesn't eat this if it's warm outside. And guess what? In Illinois, it's not warm. So that's perfect for him. Feels like winter again. We have some large tortilla shells for our barbecue chicken wraps for tonight. Some small tortilla shells for our Frontera tacos. Oh, these are corn for the hubby. Some flour ones. We picked these up, the high fiber, low carb wraps. A loaf of white bread, some ranch tort some ranch um, Doritos, some regular Doritos, some cheddar, sour cream potato chips, a big package of chicken breast, which I actually need to get boiled because that is for dinner tonight. I picked up two of these plastic containers to put the kids souvenirs from our trip and before we went, I went to the dollar store and bought a bunch of stuff to stick in a backpack to keep them busy in the car ride, because it's like a 40-hour total trip. And <clears throat> they never really got around to using that stuff, so I'm going to put them in here for the next trip, which I'm sure will be soon. They had these bows on clearance. This Piper picked up two. She also got these ponytail things for her hair, elastics. Two appliance light bulbs because ours keep blowing. Paper towels. I also got dog food and cat food. And that is my ugh, groceries. Again, I think it was about $148 uh, for a full week, which was really good considering we had to get a lot of stuff to replenish our supply. Fortunately, I already have the pork for the Frontera tacos. I already have the chicken for tomorrow night's dinner. And I have the hamburger for... Um, Friday night's dinner, so we were fortunate that way that we didn't spend a lot of money. And I also returned $105 worth of merchandise that arrived to the house after we left to the trip that was supposed to arrive before we left. So I actually made money today. And that is my haul. I will see you next Wednesday. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. If you are a returner, friend, we are glad to see you. 